Sochi. Now, we talked about all the problems with Sochi last week, but this is one thing that Sochi has happened to get right. Even though it is 61 degrees in Sochi as we speak, there's still snow on the ground and snow on the ski slopes. And this is how Sochi made it happen. They made a, a thousand football fields worth of fake snow they could pump in to any of the Winter Olympic activities just in case it ran out of snow. It wouldn't have been a problem because what they did was, even though it is the war, it's the warmest region in the icy country, it's in the subtropical region, um, what they basically did was they started capturing snow from years and years and years. For the past couple of years, they've been basically capturing the snow. They brought in the leading experts on how to make fake snow. Um, you know, they, they had a contingency plan, and it was a few years ago. They collected as much snow as possible every winter to stock up for the 2014 games. Officials compiled 710,000 cubic yards of snow, which are stored high up in the mountains, insulated under reflective blankets to keep it from melting in the summer. This massive snow piles are an insurance policy. If there isn't enough natural man-made, uh, isn't enough natural snow, the man-made powder will be piled in for the events and released from the top of the mountains to replenish the slopes. This massive operation, 400 snow cannons installed on the mountainsides, um, you know, basically guzzling down 230 gallons of water, which has turned into 1.7 million cubic feet of snow, enough to cover a thousand football fields under foot under a foot of snow powder. One thing that Vladimir Putin and the folks in Sochi got right is if you watch, it's interesting because I was watching a couple days ago and they were showing the long, I guess it's the long range skiing and the ski, the skier, as a woman, she had a tank top on and she was skiing through the snow because it is literally 65, 70 degrees in Sochi, but there's snow on the ground because once for once for once, Sochi got this one thing right and they got, you know, enough snow to have a snow glow for the next two weeks of the Winter Olympics.